Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and... This is Pahamar mounting his head on the wall in shame. Oh, I probably have a few heads I could mount on the wall as well. I think you probably have one of mine. I probably do. I put them in the A system because I was just hurrying last episode to get stuff done. As I was running around collecting corpses and whatnot. You have nine of them. Nice. I've done a good job. That is highly debatable. You can debate it all you want. That's the truth. So I uh, I threw the redstone ore that I found in the into the sag mill, and now I'm going to throw it in there again, and that should get us a lot of redstone. Just kind of curious as to how much I'll get. Nice, nine of them. That's awesome. That's very awesome, actually. We're going to get a lot of redstone out of that. So I did make your energetic infuser for you, Pahamar. Thank you for that. I've already recharged my magnet. Nice. I should start making some stuff. I'm surprised, like I said, that we don't have any sulfur. I could have sworn I macerated more coal than I've done, but oh well. Um, I feel like the wall of heads is very telling. It is a little bit telling, yeah. It, it tells me that I'm glad we didn't do this on hardcore mode. <laughs> Yes, I believe we're ready to explore the next level. The next oh. level of the Nether Sphere. Did we say that this was episode 10 yet? We should have said it. If we haven't, this is episode 10. Direwolf is a consummate professional. I, I really am. I am a pro at whatever it is we're doing These right now. These things look terrifying. I see a mob spawner, and I'm not sure if I want to break it or not. I'm guessing I should. Do you see it under the floor there? Oh, oh, charged creepers. This is just all kinds of... Yeah. All I'm, kinds of no. That's yeah, I'm seeing is. a lot of nope. I'm seeing a whole lot of it. All right, I Can we am... find some kind of ranged weapon before we try and go down there? Didn't we or get we some bows? We lava things. What's that? Didn't we get some bows recently? We probably did, but I'm worried because a lot of the Tinker stuff has been crashing. As a matter of fact, check this out. I has an idea. We have a crossbow. What is this? Oh, there's witch water down there. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, hold on a minute. There was a quest mentioning witch water. You ready for this geniusness? Sure. Oh, hello. How are you? How's that look? No idea. I'm nowhere near you. Oh, you should be paying attention to what I'm doing because it's awesome. Well, I'm trying to get some things to fix up that walkway. Oh, I see. Pahamar is being all kinds of responsible. Also, I feel like if there's witch water, we probably want buckets. Yeah, you can bring some buckets back with you if you want. I already snagged a bucket's worth of it. So did you notice that, like, there's basically pillars here of stuff underneath? Yep. Yep. Did you notice they were like a pyramid kind of formation? Yep. So the top block of the pyramid is witch water? Okay. Okay. And I picked it up with a bucket and then put a bucket of lava there instead. And there's blazes. I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing blazes. Okay, the bow works with normal arrows. Well, that's good to know. There's one of those spirits that get me an ectoplasm. Stupid, ah, the magnet constantly makes my mouse jump to the wrong position. And I just destroyed a bucket's worth of witch water. Oh well, I got another one. Delicious. Oh, Pahamar, what happened? Uh, a wither skeleton in a pillar of lava. 
Well, that's not good. <laughs> not only did you make them angry, but you made them fiery. Well, that is good. So I'm curious what this area looks like now that I've kind of lavaed it up a little bit. I'm going that to go with covered really in good. lava. Yeah, no, but it's almost completely lit up. And now we have mobs covered in lava who are shooting flaming things. I'm okay with this. No, look how well lit up it is down there and tell me that that's not cool. Right now I'm trying to protect us from death. Alright, well you protect us from death and I will be pouring lava on monsters. I'm gonna go put our witch water away in the AE system just in case like it's really crucial and etc. By the way, we don't need this lava in the stairs anymore. Okay. What lava in the stairs? The lava that's landing on this platform. Yeah. I got a blaze rod somehow, somewhere. Magnet? Must have. Oh, we got magmatic floors of lava. Sweet. Yeah, that's what yeah, I that's told what... you. That's true. That gives us sawdust and slag are required to make floors, huh? Slag we get from... Okay. Typically just an induction smelter. I guess he disabled the slag recipe. He probably doesn't Why want to can a magma cube come? Oh no, there's no glass there. That would be why. Bahamar figured it out on his own. Vanilla mechanics. No oh, noes. Except not really vanilla. Alright, should we come back in a minute um, to finish exploring down there? I think that's a very wise idea. Okay, we'll be back in a minute, guys. Alright, Bahamar, are we back? We're back. Okay, good. So, how have you been doing? Well, I was clearing out this stuff in here, and a magma cube assassinated me. Oh, uh, no. Sadly, yes. That's uncool of him. So, I've noticed it's much brighter in here now, which is cool. And there's lots of things shooting at us. Ranged weapons really would be ideal. We didn't get them yet, did we? I have a bow. Do you? And we don't have many and arrows, stuff. and we don't have a source of feathers, though. I have 24 arrows. And I even looked at mine cam, like, hey, maybe there's an option there? No. There's sort of an option, but, like, I don't see any way to get one of the chemicals we need for what we need to do. So, I'm not sure what to tell you there, Pahamar. Can we get water? We could get water. Like, but, I don't think water is going to evaporate in here. Um, probably not, but, like, the only way the water is going to bother the blazes is if they're actually touching it. Basically, you're telling me that we have a humdigger of a problem. We do. We have to figure this out. It's very dark where you're doing things. I accidentally broke a torch, and you put a torch exactly where you're good at this. I am good at this. Alright, let me come up with a solution here, if I can, about some kind of ranged weapon, and then maybe we'll come back again. Oh, we'll definitely come back. Alright. Hopefully I will have a solution at that point. Hi, right, Bahamar. I have been playing with bows and arrows and all kinds of stuff, and I have not had a good experience thus far, but I have a bow and I have some arrows. That's the best I can offer at this point. Um, I'm actually getting pretty deep in here. Sweet. I got um, some... I, I went with bronze for my bow type. Oh wow, it takes a long time to draw. I should upgrade it with redstone. Let me see how much redstone we have. If I can upgrade that, that would be much more helpful. I could have sworn this would have a better draw speed, according to what it was telling me, but 
like I said. So, let me upgrade this and then we'll be right back. <laughs> okay. All right, and yeah, I'm not terribly impressed with the bow I made, but that's okay. I made it out of bronze, hoping that would be okay, but. Hey, I've got a basic bow here. Watch yourself. Okay. Ah. You may have been caught in the crossfire. Did you notice the water there? Yes, you did. Yeah, this bow takes a really long time to draw, even with redstone upgrading on it. But, like, there's a lot of metals that we have access to and a lot of metals that we don't have access to at this point. And the ones we do have access to, a lot of them aren't working with the Tinker's Bows. I'm, in fact, curious if I'm getting experience when using it. It looks like I am. I'm guessing that, um, we can't really light up that area down there too well, can we? Um, well, considering that... Well, probably if you place lava... Oh, we got a wither skeleton climbing up these things. Yeah, those wither skeletons are nasty. Oh, wow. There's bla there's uh, spawners right underneath here. Yep. That's actually why I've been doing this, because I've been... keeping a rough eye as to where these things are. Yeah. So I figured... And that's why the water's here, to stop fire. Yeah, this place is nasty, dude. I don't- I think those are, like, spawners that won't get affected by light. So we can light it up as much as we want. We only have the option of breaking the spawners or dealing with the monsters. Yeah, I think a vanilla bow would be better for me at this point. I don't know if I can use the Tinker's <laughs> bows in a vanilla bow, though. Can I borrow your vanilla bow for a minute? I don't have a vanilla bow. I have one we got from our reward chest. Oh, you do? What's That's the... how these things work. Gotcha. Are you using vanilla arrows, I guess, then? Yep. I have a copper longbow. Sweet. Alright, I have one heart at the moment, so I should be hiding. I'm regening some health. I'm gonna go get a different longbow and see if I can just get a little bit better in terms of draw speed. I thought I would have better draw speed with this thing, but it's brutal. The good news is I think I made the arrowheads out of flint, so I can just repair them with flint and have more arrows. very quietly working through this problem. It's not an easy problem. There's a lot of not nasty stuff down there. No kidding. Terrible idea. Okay, at least this center pathway is somewhat safe. Okay, well that's kind of good. I want to upgrade this this bow instead of this one now, but I, I'm going to see if I can get the redstone off of it, because I don't want to use another whole bunch of redstone.
You know what's neat, Pahimar? What's that? I can stand inside this glass and shoot these guys, and when they shoot me with their arrows, they can't hit me. Because it hits the glass underneath me instead. This is kind of good, actually. The only downside is that I can't see because there's so much fire in front of me. I got two spawners gone. Nice. So you are just killing the spawners then? You're just breaking them? Yeah, I don't think we have time to risk it otherwise. Yeah. I mean, we have Mine Factory Reloaded on here, right? I couldn't tell you at this point. Yeah. You purposely fell down? A little bit. Why would you do that? I survived with half a heart! <laughs> I literally had half a heart. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. We need a tool for it here so I can repair my arrows on the go. Ooh, my flown arrows have auto repair on them now. That's kind of good. Ah, how much damage did that do? Not a lot. Okay, I didn't think so. You have a good amount of armor on, too. Just iron. Oh, it's better than what most of the monsters have. I feel like if I really rushed this, I could probably kill them. Another option is to get the TNT bonus. we have. Uh, that worked so well for us last time, though. Plant it on top of one of them and then detonate it? Mm. Well, remember, TNT falls like gravel when you light it, so we could, like, fill her over from above, right? And... You know what I'm saying? Kinda. Man, this room is full of nope. It really kind of is. I'm gonna bring some TNT and levers with me. I'm gonna try it. If we can blast them, that'll be good. No, 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 no. Right? Half a heart. Nice. We're both kind of doing that right now, aren't we? Alright, look out below. Ready, Pahimar? Ready. Ready. Yep. Did I do it? Yep. Yeah, but nice. you blew a hole in the floor. Well, I told you that would happen. Still one spawner. Oh, well, it's an improvement. Mm. 
Yikes. Okay, let me break. And this is my sniping spot. Haha. <laughs> if only I could do headshots. Exploding arrows are cheating skeleton. Alright, what do you think? Should we come back here after we've kind of managed to do a little bit better with this? Because I think at this point it's just kind of sit here and shoot for a bit and hope. <laughs> sure. What happened to our water here? I'm moving it over here. Okay. Alright, we'll come back in a minute, guys. Dire Wolf, I got the spawner. Nice. You wanna know how I did it? I do want to know how you did it, actually. I was upstairs repairing my arrows. So there's a cool feature about ineffable glass that you can move in through it and out of it, and but mobs can't. Nice. So you know what that doubles as? No. Safe spots. Yep. That's cool. So I can use this to actually get into the room. Oh, cool. So you killed the spawner then? Yep. The number of blazes is ridiculous. Also, the oh, this is these. It's all obsidian. Oh, that's really. Oh, these things. I got gotcha. you. Oh, am I standing on? No, it's colored soul sand. I don't oh know, like, my randomly. goodness, blazes! What did I tell you? I'm kind of thinking buckets of water might not be a bad idea, because basically their damage is purely fire-based, and if you have, like, fire immunity, they can basically do nothing to you from a distance. So if we walk through, like, lakes of water, it'll constantly put out the fire on us. Or you know what? Oh, no, I think, I think the watering can, when it puts you out, uses the water inside of it, or has a chance to. Okay, well, I got another spawner. bring some water down with me. Sounds good. So that hopefully we can do something about these blazes. My plan is a good one, Pyamar. Nice. Minus the skeleton with withering. Not nice. I have a different plan. Go on. I am burrowing through the walls. Okay, that's also an option. I see what looks like Ardite down there. That might be a good thing to have. Oh, absolutely. All 
Alright, I really have to find out where that skeleton's hiding now. Yep, Ardite. Yep. Nice. Wow, there's just a lot of blazes. This is Where challenging. It really is. I have some weakness effect applied to me. That's not good. I was gonna grab a potion of fire resistance, but we don't have um, the stuff for that. We don't have um, nether wart. So if you see any of that down there, grab it. I wonder if I can make nether wart with mine chem. Imagine you can. Yeah, I just don't know what you need for it. Hydrochloride. I feel like that's probably something that's very hard to get. I don't know if we want cocaine. No, it sounds like a bad thing. Alright. Um, how are you making out down there? Um, gotta go try and break another spawner. Oh boy. Successful. Nice. Yep, safely back. Oh boy, weathering effect, weathering effect. That's not good. Fire bald. Right. Yeah. Like, the fire plan that I have of standing in water is actually very useful, but then there's like one skeleton there that has withering and he's shooting me with it, and that's not what's good. Alright, you want to come back in a minute here, Pahamar? I feel like we have to either regroup or come up with something as a better plan. Sure. Okay. Darwell, this room is very not nice. Yeah, Pahamar, I don't like this room at all. On a scale of one to not nice, this is very rude. Yeah. Um, I kind of saw this coming, though. <laughs> I think when we said Nether Sphere, we knew trouble ahead. But I do but feel I like it's that wrapping up point because death. Yeah, I think we did a pretty good job of at least somewhat doing stuff. Um, we cleared out some of the pathways. And we got, I think, uh, a total of seven or eight mob spawners. Nice. Man, look at them all. I wish I could have better arrows. Do we have... Mm, no, we don't really. Okay. Alright, well, yeah, we'll figure something out. Uh, if we had better arrows, I'd feel in better shape. But we killed we, we we meaning Bahamar killed most of the spawners. So I think we just have to kind of tear through those monsters and hopefully deal with it. Indeed. Cool. So next episode we'll come back. We might explore this room some more, but I'm kind of sick of this room at the moment, Bahamar. I'm thinking maybe we do something different next time yeah. and come back yeah. here when we're better equipped with better armor and such. Sounds like a plan, because we discovered there's a whole other level below this. So if this is level 2 and there's a level 3, I don't want to know what level 3 is. Yeah, no, because level 2 was bad enough. Alright guys, so this is Pahamar and Direwolf signing off for episode 10, otherwise known as the yep. We Die A Lot episode. Yeah, I think that's an accurate name. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yep, take it easy guys. Bye!